Hey there guys, um, today we're talking about financial literacy and hopefully uh, this video will help you out when you go to do the Think Up Math worksheets. So um, we're just going to go over about eight, I think it's eight words, uh, maybe, maybe nine, um, that you should know before you start doing your Think Up Math. So uh, we'll start with the word earn. When you earn money, um, that is you know you make money for doing something uh, you earn money for work that you do so like this guy's mowing a lawn and like my yard it's always got a ball in it or something um, then there's the word spend so when you spend money that's money that you pay for things that you need or that you want um, this guy right here he's got a he's got a very large dollar bill if you zoom in you can see that and he's at a toy shop that apparently only sells a ball, a bow, and a car. Um, then we have the word save. You save money by keeping it instead of spending it. So some of you guys might have a piggy bank or you might even have a bank account or some kids now even have um, like debit cards and things like that where, where their parents can deposit money. And, um, but when you save money, you keep it instead of spending it. So you might have a goal, like I wanna save up because I want this big toy or I want this remote control car or something like that. Or you might be saving for like college or something. Um, so that's uh, saving. Yeah, this pig's face kinda ended up looking really creepy. If you zoom in on that, you'll see he kinda looks scary like Jack Nicholson or something. I, I guess I don't know how to draw a piggy bank. Um, and then deposit is when we place money in the bank in a bank account. And this and for the piggy bank, that would be that would be placing money in the piggy bank. So a deposit could be just putting money away like that. But uh, typically we think of it as putting it into a bank account. And so the opposite of to deposit is to withdraw. When you withdraw, you take out money. Um, you take it out of your bank account. So this is just the banker here. He says, hi there, uh, deposit or withdraw? And, and this kid has no idea because he doesn't know what those words mean, but now you do. So um, let's go to our next page. I actually separated them with a blank page. So let me get this out of the way. And we've got the word borrow. Um, I know that some of you already know what this word means because you borrow things at school, sometimes that you're not supposed to. Um, but to borrow is to use something of someone else's and return it when you are done but I want to add to that when you return it it should be in good shape or it should be it should look just like when you borrowed it so um, this kid's saying uh, he's kind of frustrated you can tell because he's saying I want it back this time and not broken and she says just give it to me so he's loaning her a car um, and in this case the boy is the loaner or the lender and the girl is the borrower and she's not a very good borrower apparently um, so when we loan or lend uh, that's when a person loans something to you and they expect to get it back. Uh, and sometimes with interest. We're about to talk about what interest is. So the loaner or the lender is the person who is giving the thing away but expecting it back in good condition. And then interest is a fee or an amount of money that we charge to a borrower. So I've got this little scenario set up here for you. Um, and we'll talk about how both of these situations benefit the person and what benefit means. But uh, So interest is a fee or amount of money charged to a borrower. So the bank guy gives a loan um, of $1, but he wants $1.50 paid back to him. And we'll call her borrower gal. Borrow borrower gal, that's kind of hard to say, needs the money now, so she agrees to pay it back with an extra fee called interest. And so... Um, interest is that extra fee that she's going to pay because she needs that money right now. Uh, and then the benefit is something that each of them get out of it. Can you kind of think about what the benefit might be to the bank guy? That's right. He gets that extra 50 cents paid back to him. So he's loaning a dollar, but he gets a dollar 50 back later. So, and then what would be the benefit to borrower girl? So you think, um, well, she doesn't get any benefit because she has to pay more money than she borrowed, but she's getting something out of it. What is that? So she gets, um, I know that some of you are thinking it, uh, she gets 
the money that she needs right now instead of having to wait for it. So she's willing to pay that extra 50 cents because she needs the money now. So there must be something urgent that she needs to buy. All right. So they both have a benefit in this situation. Now we're going to turn to my whiteboard. Hopefully my little makeshift stand stays together. And I'm going to show you a quick scenario. And I used people from class because the names I use, I have one in each class. So we're going to talk about Piper and Julianne here for a second. Um, Piper wants to buy a new car and she's put away and put away means she has done what? She's put away money. What does that mean? That's right. She's saved money. So Piper wants to buy a new car. She has saved money all year, but is still $500 short. Well, let's say like the car goes on sale or something like that. Um, she would want to buy that car right now because it would be better to buy it while she can get a deal on it than to wait and have to pay extra for the car. So she's been saving money all year, but she's still $500 short. She borrows the money from Julianne at the bank, but agrees to pay back $550. Okay, so let's say the car is on sale and it's $100 off. Well, she's still saving $50 even if she has to pay back this $50 to the bank, to Julianne at the bank. So she agrees to pay that. Piper buys the car and she repays Julianne just like she promised she would do. Okay. So in this case, who is the borrower? Think about that for a second. I'll just read through it real quick one more time. Piper wants to buy a new car. She put away money all year, but is still $500 short. Um, the car goes on sale. She borrows the money from Julianne at the bank, but agrees to pay back $550. Piper buys the car and repays Julianne just like she said she would. So who is the borrower? That's right, that would be Piper. And who is the lender the, or the loaner? Who is the person that gave out the money and expects it back? And that would be Julianne. Um, and then how does the loan benefit both, uh, both girls? So both of them get something out of this. Um, so I'm gonna give you just a little second to think about what Piper gets and what Julianne gets and, and what the benefit would be. Okay, so Piper would get what? She gets to buy the car now while it's on sale. And Julianne gets what? She gets the interest paid to her. So, um, so Piper's going to borrow $500, but she has to pay back, remember, $550. So they both have a benefit, and they both get something out of it. And I hope you guys got something out of this. Thanks for watching. Now go do your Think Up Math. Bye.